Good afternoon and welcome to Audio Tree Live. Today is Friday, March 25th, 2016, and we're honored to have with us in the studio Strawberry Girls.
watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Strawberry Girls. What's what up, up, dudes? Welcome. Thank you very much for coming out and playing Thank for you guys. us. Yeah. Um, is this the first fully instrumental tour you guys have gone on with yes. with only yeah. other instrumental bands? Yeah. Yep. yeah. Cool. Because because you've always done in the past like an eclectic touring <laughs> yeah, thing yeah. where there are some different styles. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wh why do you think that you guys fit well with? Other bands that maybe, you know, have singers that are, like, more in the R&B realm, that are more in, you know, yeah. rock realm? Um, I feel like our sound's pretty open, so we, we're not too heavy, not too soft, so we can kind of fit in a lot of different places. Sure. Yeah. Um, that's kind of a conscious thing. Uh, we don't want to go, like, too far in one direction. Yeah. Right. Um, yeah, we I don't played, know. played, like, like hardcore shows and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Were, were you guys excited to have this tour that is only oh, yeah. instrumental? Does it have oh, yeah. a different yeah. attitude, would you say? I th everyone yeah. that's there is, like, uh, they know what they're getting into. Whereas sure. a lot of tours, you know, people might come, and we're usually the opener, so um, they might have no idea who we are. Sure. And a lot of people like singers. They, you know, that's yeah. one of the they things they connect. They attach to singers. Yeah, you connect to yeah. singers. Um, yeah. Whereas with this tour, they kind of know what they're getting into, so no one's, like, well, I mean, actually, people do still be like, so are you thinking of adding a singer? Yeah. Like, uh, <laughs> no, five years into it. Like, yeah, like, uh, probably not at this point. <laughs> I don't really see it. Like, completely yeah. changed the band. I yeah. was going to say, I honestly haven't even heard of any other all instrumental yeah. tours. Yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly. Yeah. I, I don't think it happens that often. There's yeah. in, in, in the metal scene, there's there's some stuff there. Like, yeah. In, yeah. The, in the tech metal scene, there's some stuff. But a lot of those bands have vocalists as well, I suppose. Yeah. Have you thought about um, adding any... I mean, I know American Graffiti has some guest spots, yeah. whatever. Just friends coming out and singing on songs live or anything like we that? We did um, the other night in... Uh, San Francisco? Yeah, San Francisco or Oakland or one of those places. Okay. Yeah. Um, we had our friend Joey Lancaster. He plays in a band called... Bel Noir, yeah. and uh, he does a song Gospel with us off American Graffiti. Yeah, yeah. And uh, he came out, he did that song. That's the first time. I mean, we've, we've done... Um, Nick Newsham. Like, yeah, Nick Newsham. He was in a band called Gatsby's American yeah. Dream. Yeah, He's yeah. on uh, our first full-length song called... Uh, Transparency. Yeah, Transparency. Transparency. <laughs> um, and then we've had our friend Kurt Travis come out. He's done a couple songs with us. Um, so, yeah, we've definitely done it, but uh, sure. we like to practice... We, right. we don't want to just do, you know, the, the Nick Newsham thing we just, didn't. Just put a period yeah, at yeah. the end of that. Yeah. Uh, we like to practice. Yeah. <laughs> we don't, yeah, we don't, you know, we want to be prepared. Yeah, so. right on. Um, Surprises. Yeah. So it's a little harder. Um, with the Nick Newsham thing, we didn't practice. We just kind of Just threw him on it. Did it. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. Does that tend to go over well, like, audience-wise? I think or so, yeah. It? Okay. I mean, sure. it's, we've only done it a few times, but, I mean, definitely when we've done stuff with um, our friend Kurt, because um, he's, uh, he's been in a bunch of bands that, and yeah. stuff. So, yeah, they always get super excited about that because it's kind of a rare thing. And a lot of people who like our band um, also already are fans of him. We used to be in a band together, so we're kind of associated and stuff. So Sure, sure. Yeah, people definitely, it's a cool thing, fun thing. Right on. Do you, um, so, so there's this, like, very uh, active idea that you guys are a, a super energetic performers. And I know that that's important to you, and I've seen interviews yeah. that you've talked about that before. Is that, that the word before. on the street? Yeah, that's, that is the word on the street. I mean, what I've read. So I'm curious how you think about that when you're writing music, do you, how you put that physical energy, because you can't, we can't see you on yeah, yeah. record, yeah, but you definitely. know, how you think yeah. about just attaching that energy to like, your music? Yeah, I think when we're writing, we just try to write stuff that makes us like want to move, basically. Yeah. Sure, um, yeah. And with our new album, there's definitely stuff that doesn't, like we've gone, um, done things like a little softer, we've also gone heavier um, in certain aspects, um, whereas our first full length um, was a little bit more kind of in that just balls to the wall, crazy. Sure kind of super energetic, um, whereas we kind of tried to fill in gaps we hadn't um, done before. Right. But uh, we definitely still keep that in mind a lot, trying to just do stuff that makes us want to move that yeah. will translate well live. Right. Um, that's yeah, another thing we yeah, think about. Yeah, we're always riding with, like, the live performance. In mind, mind. Yes. right. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and there's this idea of efficiency that I've seen you guys refer to, too. I mean, there's yeah. only three of you. Yes. You've, you've chosen not to have a vocalist on purpose, even, like, well, his pedal board is yeah. massive. But <laughs> yours, yours yeah. I was going to say, I was going to yeah. say they're small, but yes, I'd be yes. lying. But yeah. yours is fairly small, and you even yeah. play on, like, a fairly small kid. I mean, yeah. all things considered, yeah. And so uh, what is important to you about... Um, if it's, see, I mean, is it a cost thing? I think it's uh, as we get older, we want to lift less stuff. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Practicality kind of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't yeah. want a full stack because yeah, then you yeah, have yeah. to move that. And also, I mean, um, 
Our, we we don't have a trailer either, yeah. which we want to avoid as much as we possibly right can. Right on, yeah. Because it, that's just more. That's work the worst. To, yeah. Yeah. Trailers, they suck. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously. So we have to fit all our stuff yeah. in the back of our van. Sure, sure. So then yeah. it's just practical. Yeah, our whole sound is based around being old and just not wanting a trailer. <laughs> <laughs> Strawberry yeah. Girls, the oldest, laziest We're it's metal band, you know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sweet. Okay. Cool. Thank you guys very much for coming out. You can roll into your next song. Sweet. When you ready? You're watching Audio yeah. Tree Live. We're in the studio with yeah. Strawberry Girls. If you guys are ready, why don't you just roll into your next one and then we'll chat afterwards. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Strawberry Girls. I would love to know about some of the other artistic endeavors you guys are involved in. You said that you two have a production company or some sort of film. Yeah, it's like a recording thing. studio media production company. Cool. Yeah, uh, recording, photography, videography. And you've been doing that for how long? 2012. I the think. business started, yeah, 2012. 2012. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how, how do you find it? influencing you uh, artistically maybe in this band or in other things? I mean, do you see any crossover between that project and Strawberry Girls or that project and you uh, playing at all? I mean, we're a DIY band. We do all our own recording, yeah. uh, photos and videos and stuff. So, I mean, the better we get with, you know, our own skills yeah, it's in media a, production. It's like an artistic conglomerate of, you know... Uh, yeah, I mean, Zach's a producer. Video. He makes rap beats and stuff. Cool. Uh, he also does like Photoshop stuff. Um, you know, Ian and I are also both producers. Yeah, We're like a pretty so hands-on band. Yeah, we, sure. we do just a lot of different artistic stuff and kind of mix it together and. You know, just yeah. always try to be hands-on with whatever we're doing yeah, as yeah, far yeah. as the band or, or music. Sure. And, and you guys are connected. Are you doing some of this uh, filmography or, or beat making or anything for, for other artists as yeah, well? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. yeah, I mean, the business, you know, the way it works, like, we, we try to help other bands and artists. Yeah. Uh, so. Stuff, anything you're real proud of or something that has uh, worked out really well for you, you know, maybe a music video or something that you really like the way it turned out? Our latest our album. album? <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> our latest album is pretty much our, our greatest yeah. work of art so far. Yeah, sure. Um, we all worked super hard on it for a long time. So yeah, we spent about a year, uh, you know, working on it. Yeah, writing from, and everything. Writing. Yeah. And Some of the stuff dates back to like four years ago when yeah. we first started. Five okay. Years ago. Um, we're always like uh, recording riffs and stuff, and then we kind of throw them into new stuff we write over time. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, it's been a long time in the works. Um, yeah, and it's cool because as they get better at recording, our recordings sound better. So the longer we wait in between albums, the better they sound. Yeah, yeah. right on. <laughs> you can and definitely you, hear a difference yeah. from yeah. our very first record to our latest one. Sure. Yeah. We definitely progress a lot. Yeah. So as musicians, producers, yeah. recording engineers. So. Yeah, yeah. And, and then just as a trio even, like yeah. Yeah. fusing yeah. together. Yeah, just the longer sure. we like play together, the tighter we get. You know? Yeah. Yeah. What about the studio? Because you you run a studio, Spirit yeah. Vision. Spirit Vision, well? yeah. Yeah, and, and how long has that been? Since 2012. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Before that, I was just working in my garage. Yeah. That's where we actually for, uh, recorded our first record. Just okay. My parents' yeah. garage. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then and then what was your, like, why did you want to have your own studio and your own? Uh, I mean, I've been and... recording since I was 14. Sure. Um, just sparked my interest. I was in a local crappy hardcore band. <laughs> And then this guy came with a little eight track recorder and recorded us and I was like, Whoa, like you can this like layer cool. stuff. Yeah, it was like super cool. So that's when I got into it. So Cool. Yeah. And you guys help out or are yeah. are yeah, present. He's kinda like the main the... one and then we also um since we're all kind of producers, um he went to recording school. Uh so we yeah, all cool. kinda have our own like ideas and, and things We're like, Oh, try this, try this. He's kinda like the main Main behind dude. the boards, yeah. yeah. His yeah. face is on the yeah. door. There's a photo of him. Literally, yeah, there's the a big poster of my face <laughs> on the door. <laughs> cool, okay, sweet. Uh, thanks for sharing. Uh, the record that they referenced is American Graffiti. You can get it now, and they're on tour with Sean and Polyphia all the way through April 14th. So check them out and roll into your next one when yeah. you're ready. Yeah. <laughs>
<laughs> You're watching Audio Tree Live. We're in the studio with Strawberry Girls. Yo. Before you go into your last one, I'm just curious about the choice of Ness on the drum and also uh, the shirt that you released, right? Just because it's a Super Chon Brothers tour yes, and you yeah. wanted to be involved with that? Um, yeah, yeah. So the tour is kind sort of a coincidence, of, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because I feel like we would wanted to do it Yeah, before. Zach's like been super into Earthbound yeah. Yeah, for yeah. a long time. Cool. Uh, <coughs> so we're like, let's do a Ness shirt. And then we found out. That was a Super Chon bro, or Super Smash yeah, Brothers. Like, well, we should have to do it now. Yeah, now, yeah. <laughs> now we don't have really, a choice. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so it was a coincidence, but yeah. cool. Yeah. And the reception of it has been good. Yeah, it's, I, we're I almost assume. sold out of it. So. Sweet. All those t-shirts, yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. love it. Yeah, not even like halfway into the tour. Yeah, it's so cool that all these shows are sold out. That's that's so exciting. Yeah. You know? Do you guys? Um, I don't know. Does that stress you out in any way? Like, does it change your mindset when you're going to play? Like, oh, man, this is going to be packed. If, like, no one's there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. man, sure, what sure. am I doing with my life? <laughs> yeah. It's it's uh, reinforcing in that yeah. way, right? That yeah. maybe something is yeah. right. I think it's more enjoyable to play to people. Yeah, because um, yeah, I think we just enjoy what we do, and we like to share it with people. So sure. It's, it's, it's yeah. more fun to play when it's packed and there's lots of yeah, energy. Yeah, energy. Yeah, energy, yeah. 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 People yeah. just standing around, and you're like, oh. Although this oh. is fun right here, because I can actually hear myself. So. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. its own thing, right? <laughs> that, that you can hear the other instruments in yeah. your band yeah. instead of just your cymbals yeah. crashing every time. Yeah. Um, do you feel a sense of, uh, I want to say, like, almost having to prove yourselves a as the opening band at all? Like, is yeah, there something kinda. in your head about that? Yeah, I mean, we definitely want to put on a good show. Um and we're, we're kind of different than um, Polyphia and Chon. Definitely. They're, yeah, they're both instrumental, but I mean, even Chon and Polyphia are, are pretty different from each other. Um, but it's cool because they're all great bands. Um, so, yeah, everyone there is kind of there for just music, just sound, you know, not like singers and all that yeah. kind of stuff. They're, sure. they're all kind of there. They appreciate um, just people who play their instruments. So, yeah. Uh, it's kind of cool to kind of show them like what we do. We are nowhere near as intricate as any of them, but. Um, we try to bring, like, uh, energy and groove and stuff, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah, the funk. The funk. <laughs> exactly. Uh, the funk. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, again, they're on tour with those bands all the way through April 14th. Check them out and take it away, guys. Oh, thank you. <laughs>
Strawberry Girls on Audio Tree Live. Get American Graffiti out now and check them out on tour. Thank you guys very you. much for Thank performing you guys. for us. Thanks to awesome people in the studio and sound engineers, camera and lighting crew for hooking it up, and viewers, thank you for watching. You can support the band by downloading the session when it comes out in a couple of weeks and send a shout via social media to us or the band if you just want to connect. From all of us here at the Audio Tree Studios, thanks for tuning in. Goodbye. <laughs>